This happens on this two meter about once a month. I'm going to go and key the mic and watch what happens. Just blanks out the screen. And it's only on that frequency. Mostly sunny. Works fine on this frequency. But on this frequency, which is up on Palomar, it just goes dead. And I'll show you how I fix it. First, turn it off. And then I turn out the power supply that's feeding the 12 volts to it. Both off. Now I gotta pull the radio out so I can get to the power cables behind the radio. Here's the uh, power supply I just turned off. And here's the radio. It's been powered off. It's a Kenwood TM271. I think it's almost eight years old. Anyway, here's the power line. Now there's a microphone, external microphone, which I have right there. So this has got an inline fuse. And then this is the connector. There is going out to the power supply that I just showed. And this is going into the back of the radio. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to disconnect this connector and then reconnect it. So I'm going to pull it apart. I just disconnected the cable from the power supply. I'm looking down inside there. I've used uh, electrical cleaner. I've scraped it with a screwdriver. That one's getting a little dirty. You can see the yeah, it's getting a little dirty up there. But mainly, just plug it back in. So I've just cleaned that connector right there. Goes to the power supply. I've turned the power supply back on. I'm gonna turn the radio on. There's the same frequency I was at. I'm going to key the mic. W6NWGPL107.2. Now I got the radio back to work. But it only works on this one repeater. It's just a Palomar repeater. It's magic. It's magic. I have an, another one of these same model radios and never had that problem on this frequency. I say ham radio is a lot of magic. Okay, I just wanted to share that with you on, on how I fixed uh, the Kenwood on this, this particular frequency. Maybe it'll help you. This is WD6AOX.